in this chapter we are going to look whether we have all the necessary before starting our entire course so the prerequisites are very simple as i already believe that you already have a basic knowledge of java oops concept so i believe either you have eclipse or the intel ij in your system and of course the java any version above 8 so let me show you what i have in my machine so if i go to my command prompt and if i type java dash version and uh, yeah so if i give java dash version and you can see that i am currently using jdk 11 if you don't have the jdk probably you can download it from adopt or open jdk let me show you that so go to your browser and you can type adopt open jdk and go to the first link and here we can download the jdk so in my case i am using the latest not the latest the lts that is long term support version uh, java jdk 11 and you can select any of the hotspot or the open j9 and that's it okay if you already have version 8 or above that is fine you no need to do this one you can skip this step and second uh, mostly in the in our entire course we are going to use the eclipse so if you have intel ij uh, mostly it is going to be very same i believe but still if you want to learn along with me i will recommend you to go with the eclipse okay so just go to eclipse.org and then you can download any of the eclipse version just make sure it has the maven support that's it okay so you can click on the download and you can click on this exe file to download and then you can just follow the steps that's it pretty much easy step okay now let us go and open our eclipse here so in my case i have the latest version of eclipse that is 2022 and 12 some mod uh, version number okay and we are going to focus on how to create a maven project because the entire course is designed on the maven okay so first we will click on this create a project here not the java project click on the second option uh, create a project if you are not able to see that option you can click on the file and click on the new and click on the project here okay and then select the maven and click on this maven project okay click on next and click on the first check box create a simple project and click on the next and here we can give some name okay so group id in the sense it's kind of your folder name and artifact in the sense it's kind of your project name okay so here i'm going to say org dot let code okay so that's going to be my project folder name and the project name is going to be my let code okay so this will be your folder and this will be your project name let me show you that as well i'm going to click on the finish and it will take few seconds or maybe few minutes based on your system requirements and then the project will be success so to identify whether the project is created or not successfully we can expand this project and here in the left hand side you can see that we have a file called pom.xml if we have this file and then here we can see a little m icon over there right so letter m that means our project is created successfully now second thing what we have to do is we have to add the dependencies in the pom.xml so if i click on the pom.xml in the very first time you will be able to see something like this overview okay but you can just click on this last last option pom.xml and here we have to specify the uh, dependency whatever we are going to use okay so let me just uh, increase the font size font size you can use control plus to increment or decrement the font size okay and then i am going to add the dependencies here so for that we have to use the tag called dependencies and within the dependencies we have to add the dependencies that we are going to use in our case it's going to be selenium right so let's head over to the selenium official website and the website name is selenium dot uh, dev so we can go to there and if i go to the download section you can see that we have the latest version of 3.141.59 this is the last version of selenium 3 after that we have selenium 4 but that is still in the beta section so we will not discuss in this video maybe in future video once we learn the selenium 3 thoroughly then we can go with the selenium 4 okay and here we have quite a few options uh, like selenium grid the client and few other bindings 
let's go and do the maven information right so here we can see we have a maven information and if you click on this link you will get this uh, the dependencies you no need to go through this and copy paste i will leave all the details in the description you can copy it from there or else you can check out our um, github page from there also you can copy this okay so let me copy and go back and paste over here and as soon as i do control s to save the file it will go and download all the maven dependencies in my system i already have the dependencies that's why it downloaded very quickly if you are doing for the very first time then it might take few minutes okay so here in the left hand side if you expand this maven dependencies you can see that we have all the selenium chrome edge firefox ie java opera safari remote and all the other libraries that is needed for the selenium okay so we are pretty much done with our installation and the project setup in the next chapter we will discuss how to write a first script